Matrica is a joint venture owned 50-50 by Universalis and by Novamond. The one, a major Italian player in the petrochemical business with uh, activities in the rubber, in the polymer, in the fuel and gas industry. The other, Novamond, one of the major players worldwide in the area of biopolymers. Matrica is a new joint venture uh, starting to produce uh, new chemical building blocks from vegetable oils. We will mainly work in the area of C9s, azelaic uh, and pelargonic acid, a mono and a decarboxylic acids, which can be used as bases for a broad variety of applications, uh, which might be in the polymer area, uh, which might be in the lubricant area, in cosmetics, in health and care, in uh, agronomic applications. So really a broad uh, variety of end uses where these building blocks deriving from renewable resources uh, will give an added value as well in terms of environmental benefits compared to, let's say, the traditional chemistry. Market driver is, uh, of course, the environmental aspect. Uh, it's uh, environmental profiles, so life cycle analysis values. Market drivers can be the public as well uh, through uh, decisions in terms of green public procurement because, as you know, uh, the industry is trying to find environmental solutions, but sometimes you need as well a pull from the market, which is often given by directives, by laws, by uh, uh, tools which uh, drive the use of certain products. Uh, this does not mean that we need public subsidies or support, but as in car industry, I always use this uh, uh, business case. When uh, cars started using catalysts, none of the car industry wanted to use them because it was increasing the cost of the cars and uh, it was just giving, let's say, a further problem to this industry. Then governments decided, okay, we need to have uh, certain values in terms of exhaust uh, values in uh, nitrogen, in uh, CO. And so they said, okay, from now on we need catalysts in all the cars and today it's, it's normal to use them. This will be the same, I guess, within a couple of years in the area of renewable building blocks. As well, it's very important to become independent from petrochemical industry. So it is not possible that you produce, let's say, a raw material somewhere in the world, you transport it somewhere else, you modify it, then you bring it back, and then you implement it somewhere else. Um, the scope of these integrated biorefineries is to have local productions, uh, like in our case where we have locally produced raw materials which are locally converted and transformed into these building blocks which are then of course supplied to Europe and the world. So it is important in terms of becoming more and more independent from just a couple of countries producing uh, crude oil. Ecochem is an interesting environment in which um, I attended a couple of presentations yesterday uh, the interesting part, besides uh, the various technologies upstream in terms of building blocks and technologies to build and to produce these building blocks, is uh, the presence uh, of uh, end users and uh, of some uh, brand owners, which more and more are, let's say, driving as well the development of these building blocks. Uh, we have seen it without naming, of course, any brand, major brand owners, the development in the rubber area, uh, the development in polyurethanes, where more and more companies are looking for renewable parts of it because there is a demand from the a, a pull, let's say, from the final market. Um, so um, there is a variety of uh, uh, chemicals and products visible here at uh, Ecochem. But what we feel is very, very interesting is downstream that there is really a broad variety of end users, brand owners, uh, which are interested in using more and more these building blocks.